the off-season and upcoming transfer window are annoying and terrible and awful, but also great. Great because we get to dream about what new and exciting player could be joining the team, imagining them wearing the kit and scoring goals in our fantasies. The problem, at least when it comes to fans of Atlanta United, is that these stars we dream of are likely to come from South or Central America if past behavior and success indicates. And unfortunately, largely due to the language barrier, the coverage of those leagues and those players just doesn't exist. We don't know the fans' or media's opinions of them. We need to know who is excelling and who we should be targeting as the next big player to wear the five stripes. I've devised a system. I'm going to use Football Manager to guide me to learn more about these players Why use a video game, you ask simple. Football Manager utilizes thousands of real-life eyeballs, whether they be fans or media members who have access to watch the team regularly. In fact, I was one of them. I helped scout some a handful of players from Atlanta United's own squad. So I know they are using real people and real opinions to scout all the players in the game. But don't take my word for it. Everton signed a deal with the game's producers to gain access to the player ratings early before the release of the game. Don't get me wrong, they wouldn't sign a player because of his player ratings, but it might make them pursue further with a closer eye. And that's what we'll do here. We will find potential Atlanta United prospects by identifying promising players in the game and then cross-referencing real-life stats and videos online to get a closer look and make a determination. I will primarily look for players who fit Atlanta's transfer strategy, which including younger players in positions of need. They will be categorized by nationality. Chile Paulo Diaz CBRB San Lorenzo 23 years old 8 caps Diaz looks like an all-action RB. He's everything you'd expect from a top primaire fullback, full of energy, defensive tenacity and aggressiveness. This is a case where the FM stats seem to do justice to what he see in the film, with highly rated bravery, work rate, fitness and tackling. It doesn't hurt that he comes from Tito Villalba's former club. He joined San Lorenzo from Colo Colo for $1 million and made 19 appearances for El Cyclone San Lorenzo last season. Nicolas Castillo St. Pumas 24 years old 9 caps warning audio NSFW Castillo looks like a very physical and well-traveled striker. In the film we can see him use his physicality to make space for himself, which would play well in MLS. His top FM stats are his physicals balance, strength, pace, bravery and finishing. He's a well-traveled player despite being JSUT 25, having spent time in five countries so far in his career. In 2014, he got a $4 million move from his home club in Chile to Club Brugge in Belgium. His last full season for Brugge in 201,415, he scored 8 in 18 appearances, but interestingly enough has been bouncing around clubs ever since. He seems to be entering the prime years of his career with Pumas, having scored 13 goals in 19 games since joining the club in the middle of last season. Alfonso Perot pound Rosario Central 27 years old 0 caps Perot is a bit older than most we'd look at, but he fills a vital need for Atlanta United at left back. Remember, Greg Garza, for all intents and purposes, is no longer an Atlanta United player, so we'd need to make a deal to bring him back to Atlanta. Perot is a very solid option to replace Garza if need be as a 2 left back who can help deliver service to the attack. The downside to this one is that he only recently joined Rosario, so it would probably be tough to pry him away. Carlos Munoz STRW Union Española 28 years old 11 caps Munoz is a pretty standard all-around forward who can fill a needed role on the roster if Ken Wine Jones is not with the team next season. The money will have to be right to bring in a pure striker because you don't want to block Brandon Vasquez's path to playing time, but experience up top is needed. Joseph Martinez was obviously banged up for much of last season, and the team needs another body to take minutes off of him to save his legs during the season.